4HSFootball.com here at the 2014 Jacksonville High School Football Media Day at Everbank Field in downtown Jacksonville. Got head coach Doug Allison of the Hilliard Flashes, the Red Flashes, as some people will call them, up there in White, Northwestern Jacksonville County, right near the state line, for those who are not familiar where Hilliard is at. Um, got three big questions, you know. Um, First, uh, what is the focus for Hilliard this year after missing the playoffs by one game last season? You know, I'm sure that was probably one of the toughest parts right there for the team. You know, by missing that one that that one game. Sure, it's it's a very competitive district. Um, the state champion is in our district, uh, so I, I know that our kids know that. You know, if we're competing for a district title, then then we're competing at the highest level we can be competing at. So, um, but our focus is uh, competitive greatness. Uh, we tell our kids every week we want to get better. Uh, every week we want to compete against the best hitter we can be. So if we're, um, you know, if we're tackling better every week, blocking better every week, then we think that a lot of times we'll be on the right end of the scoreboard. You know, and you know, you, you, you probably got a strengths, but you know, what is a weakness? What is the biggest weakness for Hilliard going into the season? You know, that you know that you must improve upon. Sure. Um, I think one of the things that we've got to do, and our kids know it, is we wanted to condition more. We have a lot of players that have to play both ways. Um, smaller program and uh, so that's probably our depth is a weakness and to overcome it we've really got to be in the best shape we can be and we we condition very hard probably the hardest we, we've done so far uh, this summer compared to last year much harder. Yeah I mean and which player on the roster right now is one that you think will uh, shine the most this season and why? Wow that's a tough question um, you know there's so many guys uh, you know, I think that um, we switched offenses to something a little bit more wide open. Uh, so our quarterback, uh, Brian Jenkins, will probably, um, you know, he'll get a lot of publicity. Uh, quarterbacks are like head coaches. Uh, too much credit for wins, too much credit for losses, or too much blame for losses. Uh, but uh, one of the reasons why that is the case is because they're the focal point. Uh, head coach is the focal point, quarterback's the focal point. So I think, I think Bryce will get... Um, I think, I think he'll get some recognition. I think some of the targets he's going to throw to, uh, like Brian Clark, is a, kind of a hybrid running back uh, receiver for us. So those, those two will shine on the offensive side of the You say it'll be a little bit more passing? Than, than, uh, than there will be significantly more passing than there, than there has been in the past. More, more than what the most people would see out of a, a typical 1A world team. Correct. Which would, uh, the uh, team that I would liken us in the 1A, uh, we actually played them in the spring game, and They've been doing it longer than us, and they certainly did it better than us. They, they, they whooped us good in the spring game, but Lafayette Mayo runs a very similar offense. Yes. I mean, and, you know, and, and, and I'm just going to throw this question in there because the, the, the current state champion, Trenton, you know, they've been to the state finals the last two years, you know, and they're in the same district. You know, do you, do you think that they set the bar high for the, every other team in the district, including all? I mean, no, it, no doubt. Um, you know, uh, I think that uh, since that staff's been in place, they have the best record in the rural, like like 30 some wins and three losses. It's incredible. Um, it's very incredible. Yeah. yeah, and we've got to get, uh, you know, we've we've got to get to their level. You know, your goal always is to compete for a district title, and then you know you worry about the next step. So one of the things we did this year is we have a very tough schedule. We our our scheduling games that we were able to schedule. Uh, you know, the non-district opponents. We're playing. Uh, two playoff teams and our non-district opponents, and then we also have another state runner-up in Charlton County, Georgia, so we're trying that's to get tougher. That's week one right yes, there. Yes, yeah. And, 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 some people, and some people ask me, it's like, why would y'all schedule that? But hey, you know what, if you look back through the history of Hilliard, they have played them in the past. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's very deep there. Um, Ch Charlton's going to be a, an incredible challenge for our kids, and, and our kids know that. Um, one of the things that we're going to do is use it as a measuring stick, because we know they're a great program, and so we're going to try and see where we are in comparison and then it just gives us something that we can work with. All right. Well I wish the hell you flashes the best of luck this season and the best of luck to you coach Allison. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you.